Hi there, it's Mike with the Saskatoon Public Library. I'm here by myself late at night recording another video for you. I'm gonna take my mask off because there's nobody else here. Okay, now we can begin. I'm gonna tell you a felt story called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Before we do that, I want to remind everyone and welcome you to Treaty 6 territory, which is the wonderful land that we're on, also traditional homeland of the Métis. Now, uh, The Very Hungry Caterpillar is originally by Eric Carle, and uh, I'm gonna do it on this felt board. First, I'd like to say hello to you. We'll sing and use our sign language song. Are you ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came out. It warmed up the egg and pop! Out came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. They started to look for some food. On Monday, the caterpillar ate through one red apple. <coughs> On Tuesday, the caterpillar ate through two yellow pears. <coughs> On Wednesday, the caterpillar ate through three purple plums. <coughs> On Thursday, the caterpillar ate through one, two, three, four ripe red strawberries. <coughs> On Friday, the caterpillar ate through one, two, three, four, five delicious oranges. <coughs> On Saturday, the caterpillar was still hungry. So they ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one piece of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. <gasps> that night, the caterpillar had a stomach ache. Oh. The next day was Sunday again. And so the caterpillar ate through one delicious green leaf. And after that, they felt so much better. But that caterpillar, ugh, ugh, ugh wasn't hungry anymore. And that caterpillar wasn't little anymore. 
That caterpillar was a big, fat caterpillar. So, as caterpillars do, they built a tiny house for themselves called a cocoon. And inside, they stayed for more than two weeks. At the end of that time, they nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed their way out, and became a beautiful butterfly. I hope you enjoyed The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Thanks for tuning in to SPL, and I hope to see you again real soon. Let's say goodbye now. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.